Hello stampers, I'm Kelly Atchison at stampabove.com coming to you live from Menasha, Wisconsin. Welcome to my stamping class this Sunday evening. I was going to say beautiful, but it's not really beautiful here. <laughs> it's been raining a lot. It's very, um, well now it's dark, but it's really kind of crummy weather. So that's what we get in March in Wisconsin. Rain, snow, rain, snow, ice sometimes. Hi, Carol from Connecticut. I see Luba on here. Welcome. And Cindy is here. So, gosh, it feels like eons since I've been live. And it was just last Sunday. I think that's because, you know, we've traveled all the way across the country since then. <laughs> and I see, who is that? Connie Neek. I see you on here. And Gail and Debbie, welcome. Thank you, Debbie. Welcome home. That's really nice. Hi, Brooke. So, let me get myself live here on my um, iPad, and I just want to make sure that I can see all my comments coming in, which is perfect. Did you guys have a good weekend? We had a busy weekend. Um, <laughs> Andy, you're so cute. It's Kelly time. Yay. Uh, we had a really busy weekend. We had, well, first of all, we had a really busy week, right? We started home from Florida on Monday and we did not leave first thing in the morning, <laughs> but we ended up driving to Nashville and hi Haley, <laughs> we um, stayed overnight there and all we needed was a bed and a shower, right? And uh, yeah, am I missing the veranda? Yeah, I am. Um, we stayed at a hotel in Nashville and in the morning I got up to take a shower and there was no hot water on the second floor. So we had a crummy bed that was really hard and weird and then we had no shower. So <laughs> anywho, we got up and ate breakfast and headed for home. So we got home Wednesday, no, Tuesday night at about eight o'clock, I guess. So we made it home safe and sound. Steve drove the whole way. I didn't drive at all. He's not a very good passenger in a car. <laughs> not because he gets car sick, but because he could get hurt. <laughs> he likes to tell me what to do when I'm driving, and I don't care for it that much or at all. <laughs> so he prefers to drive, and I'm good with that because I literally worked Tuesday from 8 a.m. when we left Nashville until, you know, we stopped for lunch, stopped to get gas various times, but until we got home, I was working. So I'm sitting in the passenger seat on my laptop, da 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 da, -da. I've got a hot spot for my phone giving me internet. I only had like a couple times where the internet went down, which was no big deal. I just kind of waited for it to come back. And um, I worked the whole time. So I got office, I got office stuff, administrative stuff done while we were driving back from Florida. But yeah, we really missed the warm weather. Yeah, because it wasn't nice here. <laughs> and it still isn't. <laughs> Anyhow, that's what happens when you live in Wisconsin, right? Um, and then it's funny because you guys know Kathy, my assistant. Um, she left on Friday for Florida. She's in the Keys. And then my good friend Connie from Marquette, Michigan, who also is one of my assistants, she left for Florida on Friday. They're down in the Sarasota area. So it's kind of funny because now all my people are in Florida and I'm here. Oh, and my stepdaughter Stephanie got invited on a friend's business trip where she's staying at a really fancy resort in Miami. For free. So she's in Florida also. I think we should go back to Florida. <laughs> Hi, Jenny. Hi, Linda. Thank you guys so much. So, um, yeah, if we came home. It was uneventful. Um, did you guys want to... Oh, I should probably plug my phone in. I will do that when we're done. Did you guys want to see my remodeling of my upstairs? <laughs> it's not quite done yet. But I think I'll show you anyways. So hang tight because I'm going to. I hope you don't get sick. If you get sick, just close your eyes. And please know that things are still pretty dirty. 
I've been trying to clean up, but it's, um, it's a lot. Hang on, I'm gonna turn this fan down. So I'll flip the camera around and I'll let you see. And then I have to post pictures of what this looked like beforehand. So this is my new staircase. You can see the floor is still really dusty with drywall. Let me go back in my office over here. So this is my staircase. There used to be a giant mirror right there and that's gone. And there's my staircase down the stairs. Let me see if I can see the paint, the, the stair runners over here. Oh, there we go. Isn't that pretty? I really like it. Like I really like it. It looks super, super nice, right? Yeah. So when we got home, this whole place, oh, and I got a new closet door. This used to be one of those little bifold stupid doors. Oh, you show the and now, staircase. I am Steve. I'm showing the staircase right now. I'm right here. Steve's right down there. <laughs> um, and so Fred still needs to paint the doors. He's gonna paint the doors white. And um, what else? There's some things like this window over here. He needs to do something with that too. There's paint all over it and whatever. But I am so loving this. Like it's opened up the room tremendously. It's crazy how different it looks. But can I just say the drywall dust was like I wanted to cry. It was so bad, you guys. And you're gonna have that when you have construction. And I don't know what I was thinking. Hang on, I'm gonna put you back in the folder. I don't know what I was thinking that I did not cover everything with drop cloths because it's so bad. <laughs> like all my photo albums were in that closet. They're all standing up and they're all covered with drywall dust. Everything is covered. All my games, all my everything, the bedroom, the whole deal. So anyways, today I did a little bit of cleaning and uh, <laughs> everybody's saying, hi, Steve. He loves that. Um, so anyways, that's my new staircase and I'm going to have Haley help me decorate and, uh, get that all put together. And then I'll probably, I have before pictures of how ugly it was. Like it was so ugly. It was just ugh, ugly. And so I'll post some before pictures and some after pictures and then maybe I'll be able to show it to you after we get it decorated. Thank you guys. You like the color on my walls. Um, it is a very pale gray is what we did and just to kind of keep the whole thing going and then Haley said she would have rather had it a different color because you guys know she's probably going to buy this house. That's that's our plan, her plan. But um, yeah, Fred, call, Fred me messaged me and said, what color do you want the walls? And I said, I don't care. <laughs> just do your thing. Oh, and he still has to do a new ceiling fan too. So that's coming. Anyways, um, I love it. And I'm so glad that we did it and we haven't gotten the bill yet, but I'm thinking it's going to be pretty substantial. <laughs> yeah. Rawr. Thank you guys so much. I really do too. I'm just so thrilled with it. You know, we've lived in this house for 20 plus years and it has been icky from day one. <laughs> like we've done a lot of work, but it's still, it was just pretty overwhelming the amount of work that it needed. It's a 122 year old farmhouse and it doesn't have character it has nothing um so we've got the entire upstairs once he gets the doors painted and finishes this up here will be completely remodeled so that's pretty exciting all right um we also had molly's birthday we went bowling yesterday and had pizza and you know like hors d'oeuvre things and um old fashions not gonna lie i may or may not have falling asleep at seven o'clock last night. <laughs> so two old fashions will do for you. But we had fun at Molly's birthday party bowling and Val was even bowling. So that was cute. Haley and Jared were there with Val and Haley is having contractions. How exciting is that? I have to give you a baby report. Um, she's having contractions. They're not close enough to go to the hospital, but, um, as of six o'clock tomorrow morning, they will be headed to the hospital because she has an appointment to be induced if she doesn't go before that. So we will have a baby in the next day or so. Yay! 
<laughs> yeah, everybody's, any news on Haley? Yes, I think it, there's a little delay between when you're typing and when I see your messages. But um, yeah, so we're going to have a baby soon and she's going to bring Val over. And I was even wondering, Haley, if you wanted me to come over and just stay overnight at your house tonight so that you wouldn't have to do anything with Val in the morning, I can do that. But if you don't, that's okay too. Um, I don't want to infringe. And I know you're watching. So you just let me know. Message me and tell me if you just, mom, just stay home. Or, yeah, come on over. So, Diane wants to know if there's any John updates. I do have a John update. While we were away, Jared was coming over and taking care of the cats. And then, of course, um, um, shoveling snow if it snowed. And he came over one night because it snowed to shovel snow. And somebody had used their snowblower to clean our whole everything up. Like the driveway and the sidewalk. So... I'm pretty sure it was John. That's my John news. I did see John's truck in the driveway, so I know he's he's home. Oh, and I saw his wife and maybe him. I didn't really see him, but I saw his wife in the garage today. So that's what's happening with John. Not a lot, but I think he did the snow blowing while we were gone, which was really super nice, right? And I know that we have done that too while he's been gone or mowed while he was, you know, gone. So that's... Always neighborly. Yay. Um, what else do I have to tell you? Oh, Haley and Jared came over for breakfast with Val. And I actually, when we were in Florida, we like maple syrup, like real maple syrup. So I thought, well, I'm not going to take maple syrup with us. We can just buy it because they have it everywhere, right? Yeah, well, in Florida, the maple syrup is from like Vermont. And let me put a mute on that. Um, we bought the Vermont maple syrup and it's different. It's not bad, but it's just different. I think, well, it must be the trees in Vermont taste different than the trees from the sap in Wisconsin. So today I dumped out the rest of the maple syrup. It's hard to throw that away, right? Because maple syrup is really expensive. And um, yeah, we want I'll be taking syrup with me next time. <laughs> Not that your syrup on the East Coast is bad. It's just different. And Haley tasted it this morning too. And she said, oh, that is different. It's not bad. It's just not what we're used to. Yeah, Cindy Ellers. I buy my syrup from Cindy Ellers, who is on here. She is a friend of mine and also on my team. And she's from my hometown. Her and her husband have a really nice maple syrup operation. So, um, yes, your syrup is the one that is in the refrigerator, not that other stuff. I tried to finish it this morning, and I was just like, why? Give it up. <laughs> so, all right, I'm going to tell you just a little bit about some classes that are coming up before we start stamping. Um, first of all, the retreat. Dina, Barb, and I are doing a spring retreat, and it focuses on the spring mini catalog, which is really fun, right? It's all the newest and greatest stuff, and there's going to be 16 make and takes. You're going to get $100 plus um, in product in the swag box. The cost for the retreat is $159. There's going to be mystery stamping. There's card challenges. There's going to be a game. There's three live classes. Did I say 16 make and takes? They all have videos. And um, sample galleries. We're going to have a meet and greet where you can actually interact with all three of us at the same time. Um, that's going to be on the 23rd, which is Wednesday. We're starting the meet and greet is on Wednesday. And then on Friday, we start the retreat at 8 a.m. And on Saturday, it starts at 8 a.m. It goes all day long. And then on Sunday, we're going to announce winners for the card challenges. There's swaps. There's a regular card swap and a wow card swap. And just so much fun. Um, you're going to get tons and tons of stamping ideas out of the sample galleries alone. Plus all the make and takes. Um... We are using, let me look at my notes here. We're using the On the Horizon bundle, the Quiet Meadow bundle, and the Bows and Blossoms bundle. That's on page 26 in the Spring Mini Catalog, as well as the Celebrating You and the Friendly Hello bundle. Yeah, 
Lots and lots of good stuff. You can add those on to your order if you would like. If you already have them, you're, um, you're going to be good to go. We also have an online version that's $70. Now, if you can't be present for the retreat, don't worry. Because, oh, Diane says retreats are awesome. Thank you, Diane. They really are. We put a lot into them. We do everything we can at 100% to make sure that you are getting a fantastic event. So um, if you can't be present, everything is going to come to you in a PDF. There's going to be links to all the videos in a PDF. Um, and you will have access to all of it. It's all recorded on a Facebook group. And if you're not on Facebook, well, you're not going to hear about it here. But for those of you watching later on YouTube, if you're not on Facebook, again, we send out a PDF with all the video links in it and you get your your goodie pack in the mail and you can just sit and have fun at your leisure and on your schedule. So everything's recorded. You don't have to be present. You don't have to be present to win. Um, but the card challenges and the mystery stamping and prize, did I say prize patrols? We also have prize patrols. There's prizes for all kinds of stuff. So you do have to participate, you know, to, um, to win the card challenges and the mystery stamping and the swapping. But all the rest of the stuff, everybody is involved. <laughs> Wendy says, you can tell how hard you all worked. Make it amazing. We really do. Um, it's very important to us that we are doing the best possible job for you guys that we can. And we all love this whole gig, right? We love our stamping job. So it's a lot of fun to put a retreat together. It's a lot. It's a lot of coordination. And we just went through, you know, this is our list of all the stuff included. And then Barb, Dina, and I just did a Zoom the other day. This is our schedule. Um, who's doing what at what time. So we have everything worked out. And it works like clockwork. It's pretty cool. Okay. So... The retreat, you get $100 in products, 16 make and takes, everything has videos, three live classes, um, there's prize patrol, games, mystery stamping, card challenges, swaps, and it, it's all optional. You participate if you want, you can pick and choose. That's $159. Online only version is $70. So if you would like to register for that, I only have a few packets left. Like I said a number, and I am, I have sold pretty close to that number right now. So if you would like to join the retreat, you go to my blog, www.estampabove.com. And in the right-hand column, you're going to see online classes. You click on that, and that's where the retreat is going to be. And you can register right there. You're going to register. It's going to throw an email to me when you do that. And then I am going to... I am going to um, invoice you, okay? So you'll get a PayPal invoice. And somebody, Lisa just says, where is it? The retreat is completely virtual, Lisa. So you enjoy it in your pajamas, in your stamp room, watching us on your iPad, your phone, your computer, however you watch me right now. You get to sit at home and participate in all this stuff. We have an, a full schedule of events. Um, it's a whole agenda that's posted and says what time everything starts. But again, everything will be recorded so that you can watch it anytime you want. It's, it's really fun and it's really nice because everybody in the world can participate. The dates for it, Betty, are actually March 25th, which is a Friday, and the 26th. All day Friday, all day Saturday. Prizes for the various challenges will be awarded on Sunday. So I'm glad you asked that. Thank you. Sometimes I forget that. Um, what is the difference? Okay, hang on. I'm missing some stuff here. What is the difference between online only and the full retreat? Online only is online only. You're not going to get a make and take packet in the mail. You're not going to get a goodie box with over $100 in product in it. You're going to get nothing in the mail. It's just the online version. You get all of those classes, all of the sample galleries. Um, you can participate in the mystery stamping, the card challenges, the game night. 
you're just not going to get anything in the mail from us. So that's the difference. I'm glad you're asking that too. Anybody else have any other questions? Okay, good deal. All right, let me see. Here we go. I'm trying to see if I'm missing. I'm new to the retreats. What is a wow card? A wow card would be um, a card that's just a little bit more. Okay, we have, let me see if I can find something here. Um, oh, I don't know if I have any wow cards. Well, this is kind of a wow card. Um, let me see if I can help you out here. So this would be a great swap card, okay? This would be a great swap card. This is a little bit more wowy. There's a there's there's more involved in a wow swap card. A wow swap card, here's a definition. A wow swap card would be a card when you looked at it, you went, wow, that's a wow swap card. Do you get the videos in the online only? Yes, Deborah, you do get you get the PDF file and you get all the video links in there and you get to be in the Facebook group. So you get to attend. You just aren't going to get the swag box with the hundred dollars in product and all the make and takes everything else you are included with the online only. What if one doesn't do PayPal? Um, Sue, I'm pretty sure that you can use a credit card to pay a PayPal invoice. I'm not sure that you have to have a PayPal account. Um, you want to contact me via email and we can work that out. Um, my email address is kelly, K-E-L-L-Y, at a stamp com. So you contact me and we'll figure that out. But I don't think you have to have a PayPal account to be able to use a credit card to pay. So can you tell us which stamp sets you will be using? Yes, whoops, hang on. Oh, I just messed something up, hang on. There we go. Um, yes, as I mentioned, we are using the On the Horizon bundle on page 39, the Quiet Meadow bundle in the annual catalog on page 110, and the Bows and Blossoms bundle on page 26. Oh, and the Celebrating You, which is a sentiment set, that's on page 65. So, okay. Oh, I gotta put that back over there too. <laughs> so I'm glad you guys are asking all these questions. Did I miss anything? Da, 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 stampers from, da, 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 da. it's <laughs> it's in the 80s, Nancy. Nancy, I miss the 80s. Yeah, Diane says you can pay with a credit card on PayPal. Good, I thought you could. Um, and Carol wants to know if this is happening in Wisconsin. Um, Carol, it's 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 a virtual event. So no matter where you live, it's all going to be on your device. It's in a Facebook group like you're watching me right now. And all the videos and the lives will happen right in that group. So once you register, I invoice you, you pay your invoice, I send you a link to a Facebook group that you join. And then in that Facebook group is where all this stuff is happening. It's really neat. Um, it's a lot of fun. Okay, I'm trying to I'm trying to see all my questions. There we go. Here they come. I hope I'm not missing anything. Um, I think we're good. Oh, hang on. Sorry for the delay. For the challenges in the wow card, do we have to also use those sets? No, absolutely not. You can use whatever you want. We ask, you know, that they'd be stamping up. Um, if we are on your team, can we attend at no cost? No. But I did, had, I did have a Better Your Best challenge for my team members in January and February where you got discounts, $25 increment discounts. So um, you'll find that in our team newsletter that comes out every Wednesday. It talked about that. So that's a great question, Barbara. I'm glad you're asking. There were lots of people that got $25 discounts or more. How long are the videos available after the retreat? Pretty much forever. They're not going any place. What is the cost without all the goodies? Sandra, the online version is $70 without any make and takes or product. Um, da -da -da. 
I'm still looking. Lois, you're not late. You're fine. <laughs> oh, did we have a troll on? Thank you, Debbie, for reporting and blocking. I appreciate it. Okay. Yeah, Wendy says she believes that the videos are available forever, and they are. So I have people who contact me a year later saying, and, and somebody's on here right now that that just happened to, they could not find that PDF file to go with the make and take packet. They didn't make it yet. And it was from last year. And um, they emailed me and said, do you have that PDF file? Yep. I emailed it off and away they go. So works out pretty good. Okay. So I'm going to keep moving along here. Um, we've got our retreat. Then I think I'm ready to flip my camera around so I can show you guys some things close up. It's gonna be easier than me going like this and everything's backwards, right? Uh, yeah. Um, and hopefully I'll still be able to see your questions here. Can Canadians participate? Blaine that, or Barb, that is a great question. You can do the online version, okay? So if you are not in the United States or not a United States resident, we can only ship stuff to the United States and, you know, and Hawaii is part of the United States. So we could ship stuff there too, or Alaska. But if you're not in the United States, you would do the online only version. And um, yeah, you can participate 100% in there. So for the challenges in the wild card, do we, oh, I'm, I'm behind on this. Hang on. My messages are not scrolling up. And Barb says, all of your retreats are amazing. They really are, you guys. Like, we pour a ton into these retreats. They are so much fun. So we have tons and tons of people that join us for every single one of them because they know what a blast they are. All right, I think we're ready to flip the camera around. I'm going to do that. And then I've got some great stuff to show you. So hang tight. If we get disconnected, I will be right back on. You'll just need to refresh your screen to find me. Okay, I just want to make sure that I get this on here straight because it's always kind of annoying when it's crooked. And apparently, okay, I think that looks pretty good, you guys. Oh my goodness. So I just want to tell you, my online class from February is a Hello Beautiful. It uses this bundle of product. Um, you can find all the details for it on my blog under online classes, but I have a couple packets left of this. If anybody would like to order those, they're available. Then, um, oh, and that class was uh, $45 for option number two, which gives you some um, shimmer paper, gold foil, and some ribbon. No, I'm sorry, shimmer ribbon, gold foil paper, and embellishments. So that comes with option number two. Option number one has the, the, bu the bundle in it, the hexagon embellishments, gold foil paper, gold shimmer ribbon, abstract beauty designer series paper, the ephemera pack, and you can add on an embossing folder oh, and designer series paper for $27. All the details are on my blog. It gets very confusing when I'm trying to tell this to you. But all the details are on my blog. I have a couple of those left. When I do an online class like this, you can get the actual online class for free when you order option one, which includes the bundle and all the products I just listed. So that's kind of the best way to do it. Then I wanted to tell you about my March kit class. I am using the flowering rain boots. And oh my gosh, this is such a pretty bundle. It is perfect. We've got spring coming up. And of course, we've got the rain boots and the watering cans and the flowers is all very springy. This is going to be my kit for March. Um, you get four different designs two of each for a total of eight cards in your kit. It's going to come with envelopes, linen thread, the heart and home doilies, brushed brass butterflies, and the flowering fields designer series paper. And let me see if I can find that quickly because I forgot to get it out. This designer series paper. Oh my goodness, right? 
love, love, love this paper. So that's the Flowering Rain Boots Kit class. That class is $53.50. That does include priority shipping. And you have the option to add on the bundle with the kit class. Or if you already have it, that's great. Okay, next up. Waves of the Ocean. This is my March online class that I do with Barb and Dino. All three of us get together and we put a class together. And this is the class that we're going to be doing. And again, there's an option one where you buy the entire product suite from us. You get the online class make and take packet for free. This is the dies, the bundle. Here are those beautiful rhinestone wave basic jewels. Oh my gosh, these are so gorgeous. We've got the fantastic, this is called Waves of the Ocean Designer Series Paper absolutely beautiful. Oh, I've been seeing so many pretty things with this. And then we have blue foil papers. Okay. And again, there's two options with this one. Option number one is $109 and includes all of this stuff plus some white glittered organdy ribbon, nine different cards, all have video instructions, photos, dimensions, um, you get a pre-cut card stock pack. Option number two is $45. You get the jewels, the white glittered organdy ribbon, and the nine card pre-cut card stock pack. You do need everything listed in option number one to be able to make the cards, okay? So you're going to be using your designer paper and your foil paper um, to make your cards. So just know that. And again, that's in my online classes on my blog. Oh, I think that might, oh, nope, we got a couple more things here. First of all, have you guys seen this kit? Holy cow, this is the cutest little thing ever. This is a kid's card kit. And this kit, uh, I forgot to write down the price. I think it's $25, don't, don't quote me on that. It includes nine cards. You get three different designs with matching envelopes two ink spots, you get sticker sheets and die cut sheets, as well as some embellishments. Did I say two ink spots? I think I did pre-cut dies, printed dies. There's a video and an instructional PDF that you get with this kit. So this is something you can order in my online store, but this is like the funnest little kit. Kids will absolutely love this. Adults are gonna love to make these too, right? This would be a great thing to get and make for a young mom or dad who has lots of birthday parties for their kids to go to. That's another great thing. It's $23, thanks Lori. Or you can order it and give it to somebody so they can make the cards because it comes with everything. It even has an acrylic block in it. Like this is an all-inclusive kit, super, super cute. This is called Robot Buddies. And if you go to my online store, this is my host code. You're going to use that if your order's under $150. You'll find my online store on my blog. Just look for online store or shop with me or shop with Kelly. But um, just type in the word robot in the little search engine and this will pop right up. Next up, we have our savings are in bloom. Right now for the whole month of March, we have our mini stampin' cut and emboss machine is on sale and this comes with everything it comes with the plates that you need to be able to die cut now this is a much smaller platform than our big die cutting machine okay so you can see the difference here between the two but it's kind of nice if you're going to travel and you're um, taking your smaller dies they have, not only is this machine 20% off, so you can get it for $48 during the month of March, but there's a bunch of bundles, and we don't usually put bundles on sale. There's a bunch of bundles that are also 20% off that will fit through this machine, so they're the perfect size. There's nothing too big in here that won't fit through this mini die cut machine. So again, this sale, you can find the flyer, this exact flyer that you can click on and look at or print it out like I did. It's a download on my blog. And um, get yourself some good bundles at a discount. Next up, 
um, the waves of the ocean. I just showed that to you. That is my online class for the month of March. And you're going to find all of this on my website also. We've got the paper, the blue foils, the rhinestones, the dyes, the um, stamp set, some really pretty ideas here. This sale is from March 1st to May 2nd. Now, the stamp set and the dies will be in the new annual catalog that's coming out, but the rest of the stuff will not. All of this is only until May 2nd. So I just wanted you to know that. Okay, Whew. I think we're good. Let me put this over here. Are we ready to stamp? Ah, I'm kind of excited. Oh, we have prizes, you guys. Hang on. We have prizes to give out. So there are three ways for you to win a prize. The first way is for you to leave a comment. Whether you're watching now or later on YouTube, leave a comment. It can be just hello. It can be coming to you from Sarasota, Florida or whatever. If you leave a comment, you'll be entered in a drawing to um, win prizes. Oh, and I just noticed, you guys see this? I chipped my fingernail when I was cleaning at the condo in Sarasota and then it all kind of chipped off and I was going to put a band-aid on it so it doesn't look so terrible but you know real life with Kelly right <laughs> okay first up for leaving a comment on my last Facebook live I have Sharon Milburn of Rector um is it Arkansas AR I believe so is that right? Is AR, the abbreviation AR Arkansas. Um, I have these elegant faceted gems that are coming your way, Sharon. So you watch for some happy mail. That's going to be fun for you. Then the second way for you to win fabulous prizes is for sharing, sharing this video. Right now, someplace on your screen, you can click share. When you share the video, it really helps me out a lot, and I appreciate it, whether you're watching now on Facebook or later on Facebook or later on YouTube. Click on that share button and share my video for me, if you would, please. You will get entered in a drawing to win fabulous prizes, and tonight I'm going to give away a half a pack of gold foil specialty paper and this beautiful gold shimmer ribbon. So what a great combination that is, right? And our winner for sharing my last um, Facebook Live is Courtney Ostendarp. And Courtney is from Cornelius, North Carolina. Watch for your happy mail coming your way this week. And congratulations. Oh, I see Debbie's on here from Yuma. And Gloria's on here. Next up. For placing an order. When you place an order with me, that is another drawing. And I am giving away the Delicate Dahlia stamp set. This is a beautiful, beautiful stamp set. This is going out to Valerie Keene of Chelsea, Massachusetts. So congratulations. And thank you for your order, Valerie. I am happy to be sending you some fun happy mail too. All right, and you guys, I have gazillions of mail to share with you tonight, too. So when we're done stamping, I'm probably not going to get through it all, but I will do as much as I possibly can. Okay, we have some really, really fun projects tonight. I'm going to be using just a teeny weeny bit of the Sweet Symmetry Designer Series paper. And I've got a ton of samples to share with you to go along with this one too. So holy cow, you guys are going to be like, whoa, Kelly, did you go crazy? <laughs> oh, you guys are so sweet to be saying congratulations. I love that. Um, we're going to be using the Hello Ladybug. Really? The Hello Ladybug with the Sweet Symmetry? Yep. Watch what I do with this. I've also got, oops, hang on, I got things falling here. The Ladybug Builder Punch. Okay, so this is a bundle. When you buy these together, you save 10%. 
And then I'm also going to be using the scalloped contour dies. Now, these have lots of scallops in them. I love these dies. I've used them so much. There's a stamp set that matches them. You can get the whole bundle, which I recommend. But um, just these dies alone, I have used so many times. Who just said they can't wait to make a wild card with that gold ribbon? Oh, Courtney, you're on here. Yay. That's awesome. I'm excited for you. I've also got the Hive 3D embossing folder, some Bumblebee colored ink, as well as Memento Black, uh, Black Dimensionals, some of our great little rhinestones, and we're going to save that. We're going to save this. Where did the pile of cards go? Here we go. Oh, and I'm bringing in the All Together Designer Series paper. This is our All Together promotion. Oh, I forgot to show that to you. Hang on, let me see if it's laying over here. It is. Okay, this is our All Together promotion. You guys have seen this several times. If you're new, um, you'll find it in my online store, but we have a stamp set with matching dies. We have black and white designer paper in six by six and also some skin tone blends. This is available until May 2nd. The blends are going to carry over to our new catalog, but I believe the rest of it is going to be while supplies last until May 2nd. So as a stamper, you love black and white paper. And if you didn't know that, you know that now. As a stamper, you love black and white paper. <laughs> And the reason why you love black and white paper is because there's so many fun things you can do with it. You can make it any color you want. Look at all this fantastic black and white paper. Like, this is the bomb. So, what I found is I was looking for a black and white striped paper. And by the way, this is called All Together Designer Series Paper. I was looking for black and white stripe. So here's our black and white stripe from the All Together Designer Series paper. We also have some paper called the par Party Pattern paper. And let me, I'll show it to you quickly here. It's right in the back of the catalog. It's right here. Now this is colored on one side. You can see all the pretty colors here. And then it's black and white on the opposite side. So we have two different kinds of paper right now. This paper you can only get when your order reaches $150. You can use your stamp and rewards to buy this paper and you get 48 12 by 12 sheets for $18, which is an amazing value. So I just wanna let you know where both of these papers are coming from. So I've got the all together black and white or the party pattern paper. And it doesn't really matter which one but you've got a couple options there. This one you can buy, the other one you get at a deep discount when you put in a big order, I guess is a good way to say it. Okay, let me get out all my bits and pieces here. We have, oh, here we go. All of these, all of these. Okay. Get some of this out of my way so I have some room to stamp with you. Oh, and I'm going to be bringing in my piercing mat. Okay, this is just a mat that we sell. You can get this in my online store. Um, I don't remember how much it is, but it's relatively inexpensive. This I like to cover with printer weight paper and stamp on it. This has um, got just enough cush to be a good surface for stamping. We are going to be using a piece of basic black oh hang on here oh i didn't write anything down did i oh, nice job kelly <laughs> okay so we're gonna wing it this is let me get out my ruler i had some measurement notes i think it's seven and a quarter <laughs> did you see me just shove that out of the way seven and a quarter by five and a half so we've got seven and a quarter by five and a half and i've scored it at four and a quarter or you can take your half a sheet of cardstock, fold it in half, and cut one and a quarter inches off. Either way, you're going to get to the same 
card size. So this is what we have so far, basic black. Then we are going to take this layer, which is two and three quarters by five and a quarter. This is Bumblebee. We're gonna run it through the Hive 3D embossing folder. And a little tip when you're using these. There's a little line right here on the front by the Stampin' Up! logo. And when you're using something that is a definite pattern, I like to put my cardstock on that little line right there and then run it through. I know everything's going to be straight. So once we do that, we end up with this cool, like, honeycomb look, right? Then we are going to take a one inch oh you know what i bet you it's oh here's my little cheat sheet it's on the back of the card for pete's sakes kelly then we're going to take some of this in symmetry designer series paper and i just wanted one with the flowers that have the um bumblebee color in them so we've got bumblebee here in this one and also this one that will go well with our card so we've got this and we've got a panel of basic white here and this is two and seven eighths by five and a quarter. Then I took a scrap with our contour dies and I die cut this on basic white. To get this scallop and I see I've got something on there hang on a second while I try to get that off I have one of these gum erasers oh look at it came right off these work really good to get off smudges and stuff if you do something dumb like I did <laughs> obviously obviously I did something dumb I know that's shocking um and then I've got a piece of two inch vellum that I folded in half. Okay, so let's get our card put together here. I am going to grab my liquid glue. And let's see if I can get this going here. This is a fairly new bottle of glue, but I've been gone for a month and I haven't used this one since I've been home. This, by the way, is an upholstery pin and I stick it in the plastic wrapping on here and keep it on my bottle of glue. There we go. Oh, you know what? This might be my bottle of glue that got frozen. I think it is on our way to Florida. <laughs> Liquid glue doesn't like to be frozen. It's a little tip there for you. Okay, I'm gonna open this up to make sure that I'm getting this on here straight because I can't see. There we go. This looks fantabulous. Then we're going to take our white layer and our designer series paper. Now this is a really nice little card layout because you can use up a lot of scraps like this, right? And we're just gonna put this right in here, leave the same margin on the top, top, right, and bottom. And then this piece, which was the two and seven eighths by five and a quarter, we're going to add that right in here. And again, just the kind of the same, same margin here. That looks great. So this is what we have so far. Pretty nice, huh? I like this, I, I'm good with this. Now, we need a black scrap, and I don't think this is big enough. It's not. That was the piece that we cut off of here, so I'll use that for something else. Let me grab a black scrap. Here comes a good sized scrap. We are going to punch out our ladybug body. And then we're going to take our black and white, whichever black and white you wanna use. I'm gonna use this one because I've already cut it. It doesn't make any difference. But now we're going to put our punch in 
up to the edge of the head of the ladybug. Do you see I'm just going up to the edge where her neck ends? And we're gonna punch that out. Okay, so now we've got that. Then we're going to take, oh, here's our little vellum piece. We're gonna take our little vellum piece. Oh, and that reminds me, we're gonna need two of those. So hang tight while I do two of them. One for this card and one for a little extra surprise I have for you. So there's number two. We need one more body here. There we go. I've like got one, two, one, two. And then we're going to do two sets of wings. Now, I've got my folded edge right here, okay? And that's important because when you put it in, you want your folded edge to be at the top of the wings, not on the tips of the wings, but at the top where they would connect to the body. And I'm going to put this in here and I am not going to punch out that fold. Do you see there's a little gap in there? There we go. And when you do that, you get wings that look like this. Now you could, oh, you could make a flower with that. Good Lord, I just thought of something else. Okay, so <laughs> these are your cute little wings, okay? So we're gonna do that twice, because like I said, we need, um, I need two of these ladybugs. And there's our second set. All right, uh, next up. We can put these together, but first we need the color. So I've got the Daffodil Delight. This is the Dark Daffodil Delight, and we're going to turn our ladybugs into bumblebees. That's why we're using the stripes. And I am just going to color the white in. There we go. And you don't have to be careful about this because the stripes on our paper is black and the black is always gonna be black no matter what color you put on it. Okay, are you starting to see this come together? Isn't it super cute? Denise says she loves the ladybug bundle. I know, it is a super fun little bundle. Okay, so here comes our ladybug body, which is now a bumblebee. We're gonna glue that right on here. I gotta kinda hold it up and make sure I'm getting it straight. And then we're gonna do just both of these at the same time. We're only gonna use one on this card. Okay. Isn't it cute? Now, we're gonna use mini glue dots. Let me find those, here they are mini glue dots for the wings. And I'm going to grab my take your pick tool. I love this tool, you guys. This does so many things. This is a paper piercer. It is a spatula on the other end for picking up things. We've got a putty end on here. We have a die brush attachment. It comes with an extra one or two of these putty things. Who knows the answer to that? Is it one or two? refills and I have never, I think I've refilled mine once in several years. So it lasts forever, but it is, it's like my go-to tool for everything. So I'm gonna take a mini glue dot with my take your pick tool and I am going to put that on my little wing. You wanna kind of get it up by the fold. There you go. And we'll do this one. You're gonna put two of them on there. Oh, now I have one on my fingernail too. Okay, so then we're gonna take this and we're gonna put it right up there. Oh my good Lord, look at these cute little bumblebees. Are they just adorable? Yeah, I know. <laughs> okay, let me get the wings on the other one. One here. And one here. And here we go. And again, this is folded in half. 
And if you want to, you could take your bone folder and you could kind of perk this one up a little bit. It could give it a little bit of a, you know, like your curling ribbon. Be gentle though, because it's just vellum. It is vellum cardstock though. That's what these are made out of, by the way, if I didn't say that. Look at how cute that is, right? These are vellum cardstock wings. Hold that back down. Isn't that just the sweetest thing ever? I love it. Okay, now, as I was stamping, trying to, you know, create this card, I ran into some problems. My problem was that I could not get my sentiment straight on my scalloped rectangle. And by the way, I'm using this sentiment from Celebrate, Celebrating You, which is here, I thought I had it here someplace, but I don't, oh, I know where it is, hang on, it's over here. This is one of the sets that we are using, a sentiment set, in the retreat. So this is the sentiment set. There's 16 different sentiments in here. It's called Celebrating You. I'm using You're On My Mind and In My Heart. So the problem that I ran into is I kept stamping it crooked, which made me crazy. So what I did is I got out my stamparatus. Okay, let me grab a new piece of paper. I want to show you how I set this up. So you just grab yourself a piece of cardstock and you put it into your stamparatus. And I kind of like to hold it down like this, okay? Put your magnets on there. And then I like to put my stamp case underneath the lid of my stamparatus. This is a positioning tool that will just make your life so much nicer. And I'm going to ink this up. Notice I have that stamp case under there because it keeps the glass or this plate straight for me. Then you bring this in here and you stamp it. And then you're going to use the die. We're going to pull this out. We're going to die cut this. Okay. Now, once you do that, you're going to have a template like this. And you're going to set this back in here and make sure that you put it back, you know, in the corner exactly where it was. And now you can just die cut a whole bunch of these white or any color you need. And you can use this as a template. You just set it right in there. Ink this up. Stamp it. You can pull this out. You can put another one in. Ink this up. Stamp it. And this is going to guarantee, I, I went through three of these because I couldn't get them on here straight. I could not stamp the words straight. And so this just really saves your butt. Like it's an amazing little tool called the Stamparatus. And you just stick your, stick your stamps. I see I've got red all over this one. I didn't clean it very good last time. You just stick your stamps right to the plate. And uh, it, it's going gonna, it's gonna to make your life a lot happier. That's what it's going to do. So here's my little scallop. And now I can make a ton of these. They're going to be the same, perfect, every single time. You can do this with any type of a shape. You can do it with punches. You can do it with dies. You just have to set up your, your, your first template and then make sure that this paper is exactly where it was when you created your template. Okay, and then you just set them in here, stamp, pull in a new one, stamp, and you can just make a ton of these. This is how I do swaps when I have to stamp something and die cut it. Rather than stamp 20 of them and then hold the die on and run it through the machine and sometimes the die moves and then you get cranky and doing that 20 times, I would instead make one template die cut 20 of the images and set them in here to stamp easy pull it out put the next one in stamp easy it's just wonderful okay if anybody has any questions about that let me know because um i am always happy to help you figure that out okay the other thing that i wanted to do here was get out that bumblebee ink 
me see. I don't know. I don't think I have. I need to grab an envelope here. Okay, I'm going to grab the flowers, these little flowers. You could also use the big daisy, but I'm gonna grab the little flowers and I am going to stamp right about here. And then I thought this would be perfect for my envelope. Just like that. Isn't that pretty? Oh, let's do one more up here. <gasps> Look at that. Oh, and maybe one more here. <laughs> okay, that's enough. <laughs> Don't get too carried away. All right, <clears throat> then I'm gonna take this. I'm only gonna put glue on the side, on this side, okay? And then I'm gonna put this kind of right in the middle of my card. Make sure that's, does that look straight? Yep, now it does. Let me close this up. And then here comes our little bee. I'm gonna grab the black dimensionals. Now, hang on. When you order the black dimensionals, they come in a combo pack. You get the mini dimensionals and also the large dimensionals. So it's kind of nice that you get both in the same pack. And I'm just going to put some black dimensionals on my little lady, not my ladybug, my bumblebee now, right? And I'm going to put my little bumblebee right on here. And now we have this super cute card. So now our ladybug doubles is a bumblebee imposter. <laughs> I thought that was really fun. So this is all, hang on, let me clean this off. This is all part of my Technique Club. So these cards will be going out. They went out, they'll go out in the mail tomorrow to my Technique Club people for their orders in February. And what I wanted to show you was each person in my Technique Club not only gets this card made with the technique of changing the ladybug to a bumblebee, but also this instruction sheet that gives them some brief instructions and then a sample of what I did or how I made my bumblebee. So it shows the vellum wings folded in half and then I colored, it tells about coloring with the dark Daffodil Delight marker on the striped black and white paper here. And it even tells that there's a video in March, which is this video that we're making right now on my blog. So this is what my Technique Club members are getting for their cards in the for their membership in February. Now, to be a part of my Technique Club, all you need to do is place a $25 a month minimum order using my monthly host code, and you do that for six months consecutively, you get a $30 product credit from me, and you get this each month. So you get the card using the technique, an instruction card with the technique on it, and then a $30 product credit at the end of your six-month consecutive membership. All of this information is on my blog. You will find it in the right-hand column. Look for Online Technique Club, and I even put it in my Facebook group a little bit earlier today so you could find it easy. So when we're done here, just go onto my Facebook group, scroll down until you see um, Online Technique Club and you can click on the link and get all the information. So along with this, I thought it would be kind of fun to make a little box, right? You guys know that I love boxes, I love gift ideas. So I'm going to pull in my paper trimmer, and we're gonna make a little box, a little gift set. So my little instructions, pop those up here. So what I have here is a piece of the same designer series paper. Actually, it's a different print, but it's got the same colors in it with the flowers. One and three quarters by four and a quarter. And then I've got a piece of cardstock that is eight and a half by nine and three quarters. So we are going to score both long sides 
And I always, when I'm giving instructions, it's kind of hard to sometimes um, type up instructions for things. But I will say, put the short side on your paper trimmer um, base or baseboard or whatever. This is the short side, right? So if we do the short side, we're going to um, score it at one inch. And I always like to do it that way because it's just easier to have the paper in here. And two inches on both sides. Hang on, this looks really crooked. This is very crooked. What's going on? That's crooked. Oh, this is straight. This is crooked. So this needed to be... Oh, I'm going to have to get a new piece of cardstock, you guys. That... Must not have been a full sheet when I pulled it out because it's really not good. I'm glad I saw that. This is eight and a half. Then we need it to be nine and three quarters. And now we're going to score at one inch with the short side against the baseboard. And then we're going to score it two inches. We're gonna do that on both sides here. So there's one. Oops, here comes the other one. We scored on this side, now we're scoring on this side. This is a really easy little box to make. And then we're going to score at one inch again. And again, I like to kind of go that way with it. And then we'll pull it this way. And now we're going to score it six and three quarters. Now remember, all of these dimensions can be found on my blog. This is my blog address. In a little while, after I get done tonight, I will put these photos, all the ingredients I use, store links if you would like to buy anything for all the products that I'm showing you and the dimensions, as well as a link to this video in on my blog. But it takes me a little bit, so I just want you to know that. It takes me a little bit to get all the photos done and all that stuff up, but it'll be there by the morning, unless Haley calls me and says, I need you right now because there's a baby. <laughs> okay, so now what I'm gonna do, hang on, I gotta check and look at something over here because I think I closed my window. Yep, I'm pretty sure I did. Okay, so we're gonna, we're gonna wing this. We're going to, mm, I don't think I should wing this. I haven't made this box in a while. Hang on just a second. I gotta look at something. And we are going to wing it because my something is gone. Okay, give me just two seconds. I have to look something up because I've made this box before and I had a link to it, but now it's gone. So I'm going to look at that again so that I know what I'm doing. It's a good time for a break. Sorry. What are you guys drinking tonight? I have got my old lemonade, strawberry lemonade, of course. Huh. There we go. <laughs> I found I found the place where this is.
And now it's not letting me click on it, so just hang tight. Good grief. Okay, here we go. <laughs> Sorry, you guys. I don't want to get to the end of this and have it be all stupid. So I'm looking for my template, which I had up on my screen. But then I closed it by accident. Okay, so you're going to cut off these two squares right here. Thank you guys so much for your patience. Oh, I see lots of people drinking water. Good for you. I hate water. It sucks the joy out of my life. <laughs> that's how I feel. <laughs> I know that's not very nice, but it's the truth. Okay, and then we're going to come up here and we're going to cut all the way in to here. And here. And then we're going to cut one of these off. And we're going to do the same thing over here. We're going to cut all the way in, all the way in, and we're going to cut one of these off. Now, one thing that's always nice to do is to notch some of these things out because they're just going to fold in better. So I'm just going to take little slivers off of the sides here. And this one, I was actually supposed to cut the other way. But before I could find my instructions, I trimmed it the wrong way. But it'll still work, so don't worry about that. I'll be sharing a template with you on my blog. So you can do it the way the template says, or you can do it this way. It doesn't make any difference. So we're going to fold on all of these. And this is just a fabulous little card holder. It's a little bit different. It's, it's, it looks a little fancy, but it's really not hard to make. And you can also use it to put like notes in. Like you could just take some paper and cut it up so you have note paper. And last one. Okay, so once we do this, now what we're gonna do is we are going to, oh yeah, that's why I wanted it to do it that way. Well, too bad, so sad. Make sure when you cut these, you don't cut them this way, you cut them that way. And it'll be on the template. Again, it's not gonna hurt anything, but it's just gonna make more sense. I got, I panicked, I panicked. <laughs> panicked and I made a mistake. <laughs> okay, so we're gonna put some, I like to use tear and tape anytime I'm making boxes. It's just a better way to go. Um, I've had things with tape runners fall apart. So tape, tape like this or um, seal plus is a good, Good one, so I pulled those tabs in and put that on there. So this is gonna get put together like this, and this is gonna go like this. And, oh, let's see. This one right here, we can cut this off too, you guys. We don't need that. So then we can notch these like we notched those other ones. There we go. Okay. All right, so we've got our tear and tape right here. Then we're going to put some tear and tape on the sides here. like that and that and now we can pick this off and put our box together and again I'm using my take your pick tool because it is my best tool ever 
Like I use it for everything. Well, not everything, you know. You know what I'm saying. Oops, there we go. Okay, I'm going to take this and stick it down first. Take this and stick it down. And then we're gonna bring this up, square up those corners. And now pull these two in and we'll do, I'm gonna put glue on these just because it doesn't really matter. These are, this box is gonna be held together by tear and tape on, with something else. So you're gonna push that up just like that. Square up those corners. Okay. Now this part goes like this. And isn't that a nifty little box? So this is where I'm gonna put my tear and tape. Oops, where did it go? Right here. And we're gonna put it near the outside edge. Most of the time I put the tear and tape near the fold but for this one, you're gonna put it on the outside. And then I couldn't decide if I wanted to use the black and white striped paper on my box or if I wanted to use the um, In Symmetry floral paper. But you could try either way, right? So this is where you could put the black and white paper here and color it. But then I thought my bumblebee wouldn't stick out as much as if I had the black and white paper and then a black and white or a yellow and white bumblebee. You know what I mean? Colored. So we'll put just a little bit of that designer paper on here. So press it in place good. And then here comes our cute little bumblebee. You could put a little tag on here. That would be really cute too. But I was just going to put my little bumblebee on here with some dimensionals. Here we go. Put one here, here. Grab your, take your pick tool and pop those backings off. Here comes our little bumblebee. And then we've got a whole set of these cards. Okay, I've got a whole set made up. They're all the same with the envelopes and these will fit right inside our sweet little box. And what I would do with this, oh, this is kind of a lot. Okay, <laughs> how many do I have in here? One, four cards and four envelopes fits really nicely. Now, what I would do probably is take this and put it in a, one of our cello bags. Let's see if I, let's see if it'll fit in there. I don't even know. Oh yeah, oh yeah, this is a brainiac idea. <laughs> if I do say so myself, I would put it in a cello bag and you could fold it over and tape it or you could put a little topper on it. Make it look really super cute. Add some ribbon to your topper. But this would make for a great gift idea, don't you think? What do you guys think? I love this. And I love this box. This is like one of my favorite boxes to make because I just think that having it wrap over the side like that, having that top on here. I just, I don't know. There's something about it that I absolutely love. So there we go. And uh, again, this is part of my technique club. So if anybody's interested in that, let me know. Okay. And I also have people who ask me a lot of questions about that. Oh, you know what I did? I meant to do this with the, I've got a one and a half inch punch. And if you would like, this makes it a little, you know, fancier. Let me pull these out of here. Um, before you put this all together, take your, take your circle punch 
and punch out, I hope I don't wreck it now, I, I just a, a sliver of a circle. See how that is right there? That just makes it look like, you know, fancy. <laughs> fancy pantsy. There we go. And I love making... Oh, I forgot to add my rhinestones too. See, that really flustered me when I couldn't find my template. But hang on, we gotta do that. It's like, what are those rhinestones for, Kelly? Hello? Let's put some rhinestones on here. Oops. Again with my Take Your Pick tool. Love this thing. Ah, a little bit of bling. Isn't that pretty? Cute, cute, cute set of cards. And um, what my intention for these were is you're on my mind and in my heart is, um, you know, when people tell you that they're having a rough time with something or they've been dealing with a lot or maybe they're not feeling well, this could be a get well card. You could make it a sympathy card. I just like the statement on the front because it could cover a lot of different things that I might need it for. So that's what I went with. All right, guys, who's ready for our next project? The next one may have something to do with babies. I hope Haley's done watching. Does anybody know is she on here still? <laughs> I was thinking she'd, she'd get tired of me. Um, being that she is in labor. <laughs> oh, thank you guys so much. This is going to be your project, Patricia says, for the week. Patricia, this is a great, this is a great thing to make. It's a great gift. And again, I always go back to, oh, the cello bags we actually sell. Who asked that? Carol? Uh, Jan did. The cello bags we sell. And let me see if I can find them for you. I use them to put my cards in, so I'm ready to show you guys <laughs> all the stuff. Here we go, right here on page 136. We have nothing, hang on. Window sheets, fluid, vellum, shimmery white, basic white, linen. I bet you they're back here with the other little bag things. Hang on, we're gonna find them. No, we're not. Lovely, lovely. I've got window sheets. And I do have to say, this is my catalog that I tore some stuff out of for something I was doing, too. Does anybody know where they're at? Let's look. Cellophane bags, page 137. Oh, they're over here. How are you guys? Um, da, 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 da. Acetate boxes, cellophane bags. They are six by eight cellophane bags. You get 50 of them for $5.50. So if you go to my online store and just type in cellophane, these should pop right up. And they're really nice. I like them. I use them for a lot of stuff. <laughs> Thanks, Tammy. Thanks, Patricia. I'm seeing all your messages come in now after I, you know, fumbled around for a while. Okay, all together, black and white paper. Love it. Like, it is the bomb. All right, here comes. Now, do you guys know of anybody that might need a baby card coming up? That's kind of a loaded question, isn't it? So, I decided that... They're bringing Valerie over. Oh, they're bringing Valerie over, you guys. <gasps> oh, we're going to have a baby. Dawson's on his way. Dawson is on his way. This is so exciting. Okay, Steve. What? When, you, when Valerie gets here, bring her up. What? When she gets here, bring her up. Okay. Okay. All right, you guys, we're having a baby. <laughs> I'm so 
exciting is this? Okay, so we're going to quick whip up this baby card. Oh, whew, I got to settle down. <laughs> okay, so I need a baby boy card. And what I found when I decided I better make a card is that I don't really have much for baby stamps. So what I did is, where did that designer paper go? Um, I don't know where it is, but the Heart and Home Designer Series paper, I had it out here at some point, and now it's gone. Hang on. Um, here it is. Because I have a team meeting Tuesday night, and we're using it for that, too. So, <laughs> everybody's like, oh, I know, I'm so excited, you guys. Um, Heart and Home has all of these whitewashed wood grain patterns with the other pretty stuff in it. So I decided that would work perfect, right? So here's what we're gonna do. We are going to take four by five and a quarter. This is one inch by four. We're gonna take a three quarter inch piece of this whitewashed. See, now Haley's not watching, so she won't see this. <laughs> yeah. Hang on, I gotta get the stamps out here. This is the Happy and Heartfelt Sentiment Set, and it's got a really nice little congratulations and hello baby in it. And this was perfect for me since I didn't really have any baby stamps. You can take stars, you can take other kinds of things to use for baby cards. You don't have to have baby images. Because I think a lot of times, you know, when you don't have a lot of baby things happening in your family, you don't tend to buy the cutie baby stuff, right? The baby stamps. But this is a way that you can still make a baby card if you need one without with other stuff. So I've got basic gray ink there. This is Misty Moonlight. And this is gonna be the inside of our card. Isn't that pretty? And then we're going to take this piece and then we've got a piece of Misty Moonlight. This is two and three quarters by four. And remember those dies? the contour dies that we used on the last card, there's a scallop edge in there. So, <laughs> you guys are all so sweet. <laughs> Thank you, I'm really excited. Now it's getting real. So we're gonna put this on the edge of our two and three quarters by four inch Misty Moonlight piece, and we are going to run that through our die cutting machine, and we're gonna end up with this pretty little thing. And then I have a piece of two inch by four basic white. So what I'm gonna do with that is I am going to stamp, oh, let me think about this a little bit. Um, we're gonna grab a scrap of white and guess what I'm using? Easter friends. I thought this little bunny made the cutest baby card ever, right? This is from our spring mini catalog. Easter friends, and I'm using it for baby cards. So I'm gonna take that giant bunny and we're going to stamp it on our white. Look at how precious that is. And then we're going to cut it out. And I already did that. <laughs> Do you see how we're rushing things just a little bit? <laughs> we're gonna cut that out. And that's gonna go right here on our white layer. So now I'm gonna take that hello baby and I'm gonna bring it in and stamp it right there. Okay, I think we're ready to do our things. We're going to take this. I probably won't be getting a blog post up tonight. <laughs> I'm just gonna be honest with you. Oh my goodness, I really will try though. Maybe if little Miss Val goes to sleep, but she probably won't. You know how kids never do what you want them to. But I don't want her to go to sleep because I like to play with her. But then she'll be cranky tomorrow, so that won't be good. Oh, 
don't glue this on here yet. See, I already screwed up. Um, where's that ribbon? Here it is. You guys, this is a seven eighths inch wide ribbon and it's called textured ribbon and it is smoky slate. So what we're going to do is we're going to take a bottle and this is Wendy Morris gave me this hot flash cooling mist and it's the perfect size. <laughs> So any bottle about this size is what you will use. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to tie a bow, okay? I'm just tying it around any type of a bottle. And I want it to be a fairly small bow, so I'm really going to finagle it around and make it smaller. Get a hold of it. There we go. Okay. All right, gosh, how fun is it? Oh, hi, Margaret Vinny. How fun is it to be sharing the excitement of a new baby coming into the world with all my favorite people? I just love that you guys are on here tonight and that this is getting real. Okay, this looks pretty good. Now, I do all of my finagling or manipulating, I guess this is maybe a nicer, less rednecky word. <laughs> you guys know that I have some redneck tendencies, right? <laughs> and I love my redneck friends, so don't get me wrong. I got nothing against them. So I'm going to cut this pretty close and pretty close. And then... We're gonna just cut this right down the middle. So now what I've made is this cute little bow and we're gonna take that and we're gonna tape it onto just the white layer. That's why I was kind of mad at myself because oh, I don't need that to be that long. I didn't wanna put glue on here yet. I think I just heard a car door. Okay, now we'll put some. There we go. Then we're gonna do dimensionals on the back of here on the back of our little bunny. And I don't know where my take your pick tool, oh, here it is. Did you guys like the way I did that ribbon? It's kind of nifty, isn't it? Okay. Here we go. I know I should be a little more careful with Dawson's card, right? Oh, me and Val are gonna go shopping. I have to see how big this baby is before we buy any newborn clothes. Haley told us that. What do you guys think? It's looking really cute, right? Oh my good grief. This is like the cutest thing ever. Here comes, we can't, we gotta do an envelope too because this is, you know, this is who I am. This is from our Settles, or I'm sorry, our In Color Designer Series paper. You know, these cool packs, you can get all the colors. This is the Misty Moonlight. I know I'm not looking at your comments right now, you guys, I'm so sorry, I will come back and read them because I gotta get this card done for you. And then I gotta go play with my grandbaby. <laughs> oh, while I wait for my next one. Look it, how cute is that, right? <gasps> that was made with the Easter friends. Yay, so cute. And then I made a girly one too. So, hi honey. There we go, there's both cards. How are you doing? 
Good. I love you too. Hang on. You want to say hi? Can say hi to everybody. Hang on, you guys. Haley's here. Hi. There she is. She's having a baby. <laughs> Okay, I love you. Love you too. Is Belle sleeping? Yeah, she's on the couch. Oh, crap. Okay. Love you. Good love luck. You. Thanks. See you later. Bye. Oh my gosh, so fun. So, I'm glad you guys were here. Yeah. All right, so here's our baby card. Girl. This was Blushing Bride. Boy. And Val's sleeping, so I probably will get my blog post done tonight. <laughs> just so you know. It might not be 100% right. No, I'm just kidding. I'll be careful. And then we have... What did I do with the other thing? Um, I know I kept it out here. Here we go. This. Cute, right? This is my Technique Club. Um, I have to look at your comments down here. Where did our little card case go? What did I do with that? Oh, I know. Guys, I wanted to show you all my mail. And, oh, here's our little bumblebee case. Ha! Yeah. And I've got a whole bunch of bumblebee cards to share with you. So let me do that. And as long as we're... As long as the baby's sleeping, I am going to flip my camera around. Do you guys want to see some more um, ladybug cards with the ladybug punch? Yeah, I think so. <laughs> How in the world can you concentrate? I don't know. But I do have it together pretty good. And I'm pretty excited. <laughs> this is so exciting. Yeah, I know. I wanted to be able to play with Val, too, but she's sleeping. I could go poker with the take your pick tool. <laughs> that will probably wake her up. <laughs> no, I won't do it. I'm sorry. Okay, I'm going to put my camera down again so that we can see all these fabulous cards that I wanted to share with you guys using the, the ladybug, right? So this was one I made for Valentine's Day that was super duper cute. And I didn't do anything to the inside, which is unusual. But look at how cute that is. Now, you guys know, if you want to go back and look at these cards after we're done here tonight, you can fast forward and rewind and pause this video up to where you start seeing me do these cards. Look, here's that edge that I just used on my baby card. Yeah. Yeah. But don't you love this bow over here? I just think it's so cute. And here's another one. And here's another one. Black and white, black and white. And I love this pink one. Isn't that cute? And our um, black and white striped baker's twine looks good. Here's another one. And look at it. Oh, this is upside down. She stamped the leaf right on the black and white designer series paper. Does this do something? Oh, look at how fancy that is. Who made this? <gasps> My friend, Candy Michael. I got all most of these in swaps, you guys. Whose is this? This is Patty Skiba's. She's on my team. She does fabulous work. Do I have more cards? Oh yeah, hang on. Oh yeah, I got more. Remember these little boxes that I made? These are on my blog, all the instructions for those. Here, it has the, oh, man, the little Ding Dong cupcakes for Valentine's Day. I even still have some of these left. I haven't even eaten them all yet. But this was a fabulous. They'll have some for Easter, too, so you can make some of these little boxes with maybe the little, the little chick or the bunny on them. That would be really cute, right? Yeah, I'm going to remember those are up there, so I eat them. <laughs> gosh, I didn't gain enough weight in Florida. <laughs> Believe me, I did. Yeah, isn't this fun? Fun colors. Oh, look at this hot pink one. This is adorable, too. This is pretty with the sunflower, 
right? Yeah, that's a neat, neat card. Uh, here comes another one. This is the same paper that I used on the stripes on the bumblebee, that pattern party paper, party pattern, I think is what it's called. It's another one. And another one. And another one. Oh, and I think I have two of these actually. <gasps> Here's a little bee. Look at that one. Ah, isn't that pretty? Daffodil paper, if you have any of that, that's fabulous. Here's another one. Super duper cute. Again, with the black and white paper. Another one. Is there anything on the inside? Nope. Black and white paper. Ooh, look at that. Super cute. This is the same black and white paper. Okay. Um, oh, and I think that's it. That's it for the ladybug cards. So I have just a ton of ladybug cards. This is just the cutest little bundle ever. Get lots and lots of ideas out of it. Lots of different layouts, lots of different color combinations. You have a little gift set here. Yeah, all kinds of fun stuff. Now, what time is it? Oh, it's 8.41, I should call it a night. Um, I'm not gonna do mail tonight. I will do mail next time, I promise. How do people think of all these? Well, you think about it, I swap with a lot of people. So, um, we, you know, like I just came up with this idea with an Easter set. So now you got a whole different ball game going on with a set that's meant to be for Easter. And this is why we swap. That's why swapping is so fun because you get so many different ideas. I mean, this is totally different from this. This is different. This is different. This is different. I mean, they're just... A lot of it's a lot of fun to swap it's just a lot of fun I really enjoy it and when my mail comes it's like oh it's so exciting you got so much mail coming in I have like I said I have a team meeting Tuesday night and this is my team meeting swaps which is really cool tons and tons of great ideas every month being on my team so if you're not on somebody's team you should really consider joining my team. We do a lot of fun stuff, get a lot of stamping ideas. And what I do on here on Facebook Live and on my blog for the public is just the tip of the iceberg. There's so much more that I do behind the scenes for my team too. So it's a lot of fun to be a part of something bigger. That's why I'm always saying, if you are not getting a discount on your Stampin' Up! products, you should join my team. You'll get a discount and enjoy all the fun. So lots and lots of fun happening. Thank you guys so much. I am going to cut it short tonight. I guess I've ran over my time, but um, I was going to show you mail and now I'm going to go see to my grandbaby and wait to hear news on the new grandbaby. I will let you guys know um, probably in the morning how big, how everything's going, if he's even born yet, because she tends to take a long time to have babies. So, <laughs> yeah, it's, it's always fun. I'm just looking at all your comments. Um, yeah, and I just found out that one of Haley's classmates has a baby girl due in April. So I'm already ready for that baby, and this will be for Dawson. Yay. And um, I'll probably put some rhinestones on this one because it's for a girl. I didn't want to put rhinestones on a card for a boy. How about if we do that right now? Put some little rhinestones on here. Yeah, just like that. How about just a few rhinestones to bling it up a little bit? Isn't that the cutest bunny ever? It is the cutest bunny. <laughs> thank you guys so much. Thank you for all your kind comments and thank you for wishing Haley well. And um, yeah, I will be sharing pictures of Dawson as soon as I get to see him. And just a little secret that I haven't told anybody. Um, they said with the last ultrasound this last week that 
they think he's going to have a lot of hair. Like, they think the picture shows a lot of hair. So he could be like a hairy little monkey. <laughs> and I love him, even if he is a hairy little monkey. He could look like one of these little guys. <laughs> my friend Lynn from Australia sent this to me, and I absolutely love it. It sits right here on my desk. But that's a hairy little koala, not a bear. Don't make the Australians angry by calling it a bear. All right, that's a little inside joke. I'm going to let you guys go. Have yourselves a wonderful week, and I will keep you tuned in, informed about the baby. Bye-bye. Thank you so much for joining me.